Hey y'all, welcome back. I am here with another cool craft using the plastic dollhouse from Dollar Tree. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn it into an adorable gingerbread house that you can use as a Christmas themed candlescape. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Hey y'all, I know Halloween nails, right? Halloween nails and I'm doing a Christmas craft, but I've got a lot of Christmas crafts coming. So I wanna go ahead and try to start getting these out before I run out of time like I did last year. But anyway, we are back with another craft using the Dollar Tree dollhouse. Now there are two different styles of these houses. You can use whichever one you can get your hands on. If you can't find them, you know you can also order from Dollar Tree online. A lot of their items you have to order by the case, but a lot you have to order a minimum of four. So look in the description box and I'll pin a comment as to where you can order uh, through my affiliate link, if you would please, uh, from Dollar Tree. But this is the particular house that I'm gonna be using. And now I have this piece of wood. Where did this come from? This came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I don't have a lot of craft stores around me, but any craft store that you can find that carries wood items like this, you can probably find it. This is eight and a half inches wide and 11 inches long. It's basically the size of a piece of paper, okay? So if you're out looking for a piece of wood, um, it's basically, you know, like I said, the size of a piece of paper. But what we're going to do is we are going to take this house here and then we are going to spray paint it with this paint here. This is the color nutmeg and I thought it would be a good cookie color. <laughs> it's a satin finish. I thought it would be good for that. Now for this piece of wood here, I'm going to be spray painting that white, and uh, this is flat. This is just what I have on hand, but you use whatever paint you want. I'm going to be spray painting this white. So I'm going to take it outside, I'm going to do that, and then we'll come back and decorate some. All right, friends, so this is what we have so far, and it's not storming outside. Well, yeah, it's supposed to, so I did get to paint the back of this one. I didn't get to paint the back of the Halloween one um, because the storm came. And, um, yeah, that, that was a fun day. <laughs> so now I'm just taking this paint. This is just plain old white acrylic paint. And I got an itty bitty little brush here. And I've got this dotting tool, which comes in handy sometimes. I finally found mine, um, which comes in handy sometimes when you're trying to paint stuff. But anyway, now all that I'm going to do is just take this. And I'm just going to go over whatever highlights I want to be colored white, okay? Like frosting. Now I'm gonna put on one coat of this paint, okay? And then when I come back, and I'll, I'll do that on camera so that you can see it. Then when I come back for the second coat, I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit um, of iridescent glitter, all right? So you just paint whatever you wanna paint. You can pop these little windows and such out, but you know what? I'm not going to, cause I don't feel like it. I can paint it just fine, like so. So I'm just gonna paint up whatever I wanna paint, and then we'll come back for that second coat and I'll show you how to do my glitter. All right, so this is our first coat of paint. Yeah, it's a little sparse, it looks a little raggedy, but hang tight, we're, we're gonna fix it, it's gonna be okay. So now what we're gonna do is, I have some paper here, because when I sprinkle the glitter and it lands on the paper, then you can just take it and just pour that right back into your container so you don't waste any. All right, so let's start on this side. Did I just touch that wet paint? And now I'm just going to put some paint. Oh my gosh, Amber, I'm just glopping it on here. <laughs> and then while the paint is wet, sprinkle on a little bit of glitter. Like so. And then just shake it off. Like I said, every now and again, and you can, you see how this spilled over? You can just take a, a dry paintbrush and you can just kind of brush that off. Okay, don't, don't worry about that. Or if you want to put glitter over the whole thing, that's cool. <laughs> it don't matter. You do however you want to do it. So I'm just going to paint some more. And then we'll just sprinkle on a little bit of glitter. And then, of course, I will uh, pour this back into the container. And I'm just going to do this all the way around the piece. Yes, this is the time-consuming part. Um, I think it's relaxing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to do this on the whole thing. All right, friends. So here I have some piping tips. Now, listen, when you use piping tips and stuff for your crafts, 
please set those aside and use different ones for your food, okay? I have two sets of these, one for food, one for crafts. But anyway, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be using this patch and paint. This is lightweight spackle, okay? Light weight. Do you see how this says lightweight right here? So listen, this is very, very light. When you pick it up, it's gonna be very light for its size, okay? Now the other spackle, when you pick it up, it's gonna be very heavy. That kind tends to flatten out and it does not look nearly as good as the lightweight spackle, okay? This stuff is kind of like, see how whipped and creamy it looks? It's more like whipped cream than the other stuff, okay? Now, I got this at um, Home Depot. Any hardware store carries this. Walmart carries it. Dollar Tree used to carry um, small little containers of it. I have not seen it at my store in quite a while, and I just got that on the lid. I have not seen it at my store in quite a while. Um, but just check yours. Um, now, I don't want to use a really big one. Oops, I dropped it. Um, that one looks okay. You see how that's not like really, really big? I, this does not have sizing on it. But um, that looks all right. So now what you do is go ahead and fit your piping bag with your tip. And then you're going to stick it down inside of a cup or a vase, whatever you have. And that is going to help us to load it up with this spackle. Okay, so now I'm just kind of bending this around this cup. Like I said, if you have a vase, it helps, you know, because that's heavy. I don't happen to have one that does not have flowers on it. So now I have this plastic fork. And you see how light, how like light and creamy this stuff is? So I'm just going to pack some down in there. It's not going to take a whole lot, um, but I would rather have too much than not enough. Because if I have too much, I can just, you know, squirt it back down into this container instead of having to worry about filling my bag back up. And this should be absolutely plenty. So let's just set that off to the side and we'll put the lid back on, all right? So now you're just gonna treat this like you would frosting. Now let's look at this and wherever on your little house, your cookie house now, that um, you would want frosting, just pipe it on there. For the majority of this, I'm gonna be putting it on the roof, okay? So you can just do it just like frosting. I'm just gonna go bloop like that. I'm just gonna make bloops everywhere. How's that? Can y'all see this? Can y'all see what I'm doing? And then you just need to leave it alone and let it set up. Now this stuff, it sets up pretty quickly. It tells you on the container, okay, how long it takes to set up. But here's the thing, it is very humid here right now, okay? I, let me zoom in so you can see this. It's very humid here now and that does affect it. Um, I have used this stuff for a long time in my fake bakes. Um, I've had it set up and be able to be touched and moved around in 30 minutes. I've had it take an hour. I've had it take two hours, you know. So you just need to set this somewhere where it's going to be safe, where cats, dogs, and feral children cannot get a hold of it until when you touch it, you know, you can tell that it's dry and it's not squishy. So I'm just going to do part of this like so and then once i get this put on all of it we're going to sprinkle on some more of our glitter so let me work on that and i'll be back okay so my icing is on and now we're just going to sprinkle on glitter we're going to get it all over us please be careful because some of these little houses um they do slide apart at the top so please please just be so super careful when you're doing this you know so that you don't drop it and ruin your frosting but anyway, now I'm just going to let this sit here. I'm not even going to touch it. I'm going to shake off that excess glitter and just leave it alone for a while. Okay, so this is what I have. And I'm trying to be so super careful because, no, this has not set up yet, okay? But anyway, now I have some buttons. I got these buttons at Hobby Lobby, but you can get them at Joann's. They have really pretty buttons. Now, if you want to get yours at Hobby Lobby... You notice this says from the paper studio. I got these over in the scrapbooking section, okay? Like not over with the clothes, but this was over with the scrapbooking. So anyway, I got this, I got candy canes, and I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna take my time and I'm just gonna stick these on. I think I'm gonna stick some up here. Um, you can see, like I said, they are buttons. They have these little doohickeys on the back. If you're gonna glue them on, then you can take wire cutters and you can just clip those off stick them on with some hot glue but like i said i'm just going to sit here and i'm just going to take my time to try to decide where i want these and i'm just going to stick them down 
and whatever I don't stick down, I'm going to glue down, but um, that's going to take me a minute to decide where I want everything, okay? So I'm just going to, let's see, like I said, it's going to take me a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to stick these on because I want this to look like candy, okay? Like a highly decorated Christmas cookie with candy. So I'm going to work on that, and I'll be back. All right. So here it is with my buttons glued on. I think that looks good. I wanted to put the candy cane somewhere and I'm like, where can I put it? I like it right over that window right there. I like that because it kind of looks like a wreath or something. You know how people put the big wreaths, you know, up on their top windows? I like it. So anyway, this is what I have. And now let me go get the piece of wood and we are going to start putting this puppy together. Okay, so here's our little house with our piece of wood here. I've had so many interruptions during this craft. I can't even remember what I was doing. But anyway, because I'm going to be using this with a real candle. And I found this candle at Hobby Lobby. This is fresh baked cookies. And I want this candle to show, okay? So I want it to sit here. And then I want the little house to sit over here right beside of it. So I'm going to glue the house down. And I have this piece of floral foam that I cut that I'm going to glue onto the board and then put the house on top of that. Why? To lift it up so that when we put our snow and stuff on, your, your house doesn't get lost, okay? Because we have all these little decorations down here and we don't want them to get lost all done. So just be careful with this because like I said, these do slide apart. So anyway, I am going to put some hot glue on top of here and my camera had cut off. But anyway, I just glued that piece of foam to the underside of our little house here. And now I'm just going to hold it here and press it down. And I'm just going to hang on to it, okay, till this glue sets up. Now, I know the house, like I said, is setting up a little bit high right now. But it kind of has to because we're going to put the snow on. And um, we don't want our little house to get lost. So now I have some various types of Christmas trees. These were just some that I had gotten last year at Walmart. But anyway, these are taller than these. So I think I'm just going to alternate because it kind of bugs me when the trees are all one height, you know, like in my Halloween one. But anyway, I'm just going to now glue these down to the back. So let me get some glue on here. If you have cats, dogs, and feral children running around, back this up with some E6000, okay? So I'm just gluing this. Now let's move this over so that y'all can see. I'm just gluing this down. And then I'm going to put one of these plain green ones here on the other side of that and then just alternate them across the back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just use some of this uh, buffalo snow. This is the kind of snow that comes, I um, mean, like in the big roll. And I'm just going to take it. It's like polyester fiber fills, all it is. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to glue it down over our base here. Now I'm going to set the candle where I want it. And that looks good. And I'm not really going to glue any snow in that area. In fact, it will be good to take a pen and trace around that or something. Just make sure that your candle is not going to be sitting on top of the snow because then it could be kind of rocky and unstable. I want to use a real candle with this. If you want to use a battery operated LED, that's perfectly fine. But for me, I feel a lot more comfortable with this was sitting right here, flat on the base, being very sturdy. So now, like I said, I'm just going to take my time here and I'm just going to glue down some of this fake snow and I'll cover the entire base and come back. All righty, moving right along. So now I have these little wooden gingerbread men. See, gingerbread man, 3D wood, Christmas paper crafts, once again, over in the scrapbooking section. Now, these are supposed to be used as stickers and see they have a sticky back. But if you're careful, and if you pull them off of the backing just so, you can get rid of that sticky stuff. See, that don't have any sticky stuff. So I'm just going to put blobs of glue here on his itty bitty little feet. And then I'm just going to kind of stick him right there. And I'm going to hold him down in this snow until he sets up. I've just got a bunch of Christmassy stuff <laughs> that I'm... Uh, and I'm trying to determine if I want to put a little fence around it. And I think I do. I think that it would just contain it and make everything look good. You know how I did with the, uh, with the Halloween one. Um, Shelly, don't know. See if you could just pull it. And you see how that sticky backing's coming off? All right. I think I'm going to put two. He's lonely and he's a friend. You got a friend and me. Okay. You stay there, little gingerbread person okay 
And now, you know what? Let me get some stuff and I might make a little fence right quick. Okay, so I have this pack of craft sticks and y'all have seen me use these to make little fences and stuff before. So I just cut a bunch of pieces. I just kind of held it there to see about how tall I wanted it. Then I just cut a bunch of pieces. I didn't exactly cut it in half. It might be more like thirds. But I have all of these little pieces here. And now we have these big pieces. So I'm just going to cut the end off. Like so. And then let's see where we want this. I think about halfway. I think it'd be good. Yeah. Let's see. Let's put some glue right here. And then I'm just going to stick these pieces down about halfway, like so. Uh, let me get something and get off that little bit of glue right there. Okay. And try to keep these flat because we're going to be gluing that to the wood here. I thought about doing this a while ago and I'm like, well, um, if I glue it down there and then go packing the snow around it, I run the risk, you know, of knocking it off. So that's why i did not do that but let's just try to make sure that we get this bottom as even as possible okay and then i'm gonna spray paint it or paint it uh i think red would look good what y'all think red because we got all the green and the trees back there i think red would look good all right so let me keep on keeping on with this we'll paint it and then we're going to glue it down. Okay, so I made these two pieces. I made this longer one to go on this side. And then I made this little shorter one to go over here on this side. Let's scoot this back. Like I said, I wanted to do this a while ago. But I'm like, if I glue it down and then start, you know, pressing down the, the snow and everything. I was afraid that I was just going to, uh, look, why is this here? Look, a little spot of glue or something. I was afraid that um, I would break it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Just putting glue on the bottom here. If you want to put the little fence on, if you even make a fence, you know, you don't have to. If you want to put it on first and put your snow on, that's fine. But um, I like the way it looks like this. So I'm going to glue this piece here and then glue the other little fence piece over here. And I have these little um, candy cane buttons. I might glue one of these on every now and again. Um, maybe just on the entrance part right here. Let's see, I'm probably going to have to hold that down some more. But anyway, let me go ahead and just get this stuck down. Um, then I'll take a step back and see what it looks like. If I glue on the candy canes, you've already seen it in the photo at the beginning. But, um, uh, I don't know. I'm dripping glue. Okay, let's put this right here and hold that down. Okay, and that will be that. I think I will glue the little um, candy canes down. Now, as far as lights inside the house, I have some battery operated. Those little, um, oh, dadgummit, the little tea light things, you know, that come from Dollar Tree. I have some of those. And um, I'm going to put those inside the house, okay? So let me get all of this glued into place and set up and adjusted to where I'm happy with it. And then we'll get the little lights. Okay, can y'all see this? I glued <laughs> I glued candy cane buttons to every single little post on my fence. Just so happens I had exactly the amount I needed to go on my fence. But anyway, these little battery-powered lights here, I'm going to put inside the house. In the back, and you can just move the trees out of the way. I'm going to have to turn this to do that. But anyway, y'all know how to put lights inside the little house. And I'm going to put some up here. And you can't really see it on camera, but um, they're there. They're in there. <laughs> anyway, this was fun to make. I really enjoyed this, and I hope y'all enjoy it. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.